Hey, I'm Renee, but you can call me Blade, and this is the Oh My God Show. I have to talk about Jamaican cheese, right? Where is it? Wait, my ring light is... Let me see if I can turn it off so you can see it. Yeah? So that is Jamaican cheese. And it looks... It looks similar to cheddar cheese. That's the closest cheese that I can think of. But I find that no matter where I go, I can't really find cheese that tastes exactly like this one. Now I do have, I have indeed cut back on a lot of dairy products, especially milk. I try to reduce my cheese consumption, especially when I was overseas. But when I come to Jamaica, this cheese here is the type of cheese that I feel like I'm not sure when I'm gonna really cut it completely out of my diet. But I do have it, um, yeah, I've been having this cheese since I came back, but I try to stay away from, yeah. But the thing with this cheese that you can eat it with um, pastries like bun. Remember the bun here? This is from child, childhood. Um, this kind of bun here. If you eat this bun with this cheese, it is beautiful. Sometimes we could have it like for lunch when I was um, going to school or anything like that. Or if you're at home and there's bun and cheese, you could always have it for lunch. There's a special type of bun that we have in Jamaica for Easter that they call Easter bun. But this one is the one that you would just have available all year round. I don't know if they have Easter bun available all year round right now, but yeah. So this one you could always get and I was happy to have this. Now to be honest with you, I prefer this thing called bula over this one called bun. But bula is really much more sweet than this one. And the reason why I don't have bula for the video because I ate it all. And this is probably the third or second time I'm trying to attempt to do this video, but usually the snacks didn't get to last until I have time to do the video. So yeah, so I could always have some bun and cheese. And yeah, if you are not from Jamaica and you come, you could try bun and cheese. It is something that I would really recommend for you to try. And uh, cheese is not cheap in Jamaica, just so you know and uh this one i think i discovered it when i used to live in downtown kingston honey bun donut and i don't know i just i think growing up we only used to have donuts when somebody traveled like to the other part of the island and they brought the donuts in the box you know those ones they still sell them and i haven't bought any of those since i came back but i should buy but this one in the pack now they have it in all the supermarkets or all the supermarkets i've seen and i don't mind like trying it from time to time it's just really soft and squishy and there is like a, a jelly filling red jelly filling inside and this one i don't know i haven't tried it yet since i came back i bought it and thank god i remembered to keep it for the video it's just um it's a cake it has a black part and a white part and the pink top and i would save my lunch money or something so i could have extra so whenever i uh, finish school i think i used to stop by wakefield um and buy it at the supermarket and then sometimes i have to cut it up to share it with whoever and um, i can't wait to eat this one it's just like a really nice moist um, cake and i just love it and this now I think it, they started making these when, when I was much older. Um, it's plantain chips. This one is um, plantain chips. Oh, did I say this one was donut? It's donut. Plantain chips. And this one is actually mm, lightly salted. I just realized that I'm not sure if it's actually the right plantain chip. It's talking in some other languages. Light, it says lightly salted. Now that I'm doing the video, I think I bought the wrong one. I don't know if this is a green plant chips, but the one that I like is the ripe one. I don't know if this one is ripe or not, but it would be interesting to try the green plant chips. But growing up, we always had more of a banana chips thing. I think this one is, again, ripe plant chips is something to try. But now I think, I don't know if this is ripe or not. I think it's just, yeah. Anyway. I think when I left, there was only the option of the ripe one. So I think I took the normal one, but I will still try it. And this thing called cheesies. 
Now I do get a bad reaction when I eat this one because of the, it has this cheesy, dusty thing. But again, it has some good memories for me. So I, I remember just um, liking it. And I've had maybe at least two, three packs since I got here. And yeah, it's called Cheesies. And I love, we love them as kids. And it still has a great taste that tempting great taste that you know you shouldn't eat it but you really really want to eat it and um, yeah so cheesies and all of these things something that I I like and I'm happy to get a chance to come back home and get to enjoy some of the same snacks that I had when I was a kid or when I was in high school or when I lived here and also there are many more new snacks on the market and new things and it's just exciting to be a part of it so yeah just just these are snacks I would recommend you would try at least once if you came here and um, yeah, and of course Jamaican people, they already love and know this one. Yeah, so now that I showed you the snacks, I, I have heard before that um, a lot of, I'm not sure if it's a lot of or most of the Jamaican snacks that we, you know, like Jamaican snacks and all of that is actually produced or uh, are made in Trinidad. And you have companies in Jamaica that distribute it or stuff like that. So there were some stuff that I would just assume that were because they were like snacks that we grew up with and um, and that, um, yeah, it's just Jamaican snacks and we can enjoy it and everything like that. But sometimes it's good to just know facts. So some of our snacks that we really like are actually not um, produced by, uh, made by, in Jamaica, they are made by, in Trinidad. And I have no problem with that. I have no problem supporting Trinidad. Actually, um, Trinidadians were some of my best. Some of my best friends when I lived in um, Dubai were actually from Barbados. From sorry, not from Barbados. I had Barbadian friend too, but from Trinidad. And oh my gosh, especially my Trinidadian friend, the girl can cook when she drop our food and I hand them in at the food. So yeah, so I'm just saying it as a matter of fact, but not not like I have a problem. Um, supporting our fellow brothers and sisters in the Caribbean and I think that's exactly what we should do like they're good with producing snacks and we are good at eating snacks so <laughs> much made in heaven so actually this one no wonder why they're talking all these different Spanish something this one is actually made but I am not sure if this one was ever marketed or like it's a Jamaican snack but it's actually made in Costa Rica and it is distributed by um, a biscuit company in Spanish Town, um, Jamaica. So Saldana is just distributed here, but it's not made here. And this that I knew from when I was a kid, that time I didn't know that it's not made in Jamaica, but it says on the packet that it is made in the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. And um, it is actually distributed by a Jamaican um, um, confectionery and snack company in St. Catherine, Jamaica. So, yeah, so this cheese is, I've known it. I think of all the snacks here, I think this one I've known the longest, and of course the spiced one. So, yeah, these two, um, so these two were actually not um, produced in Jamaica. The cheese is just like a pizza cheese, I assume says Jamaican, is, and actually Jamaica is the only place I've actually seen this kind of cheese, so I assume it's a Jamaican cheese. But I'll do some more research on this one. But this is the cheese that I always like and love and, and have it with pastry. Yeah. But it's not good for like maybe cooking. Like how you would use mozzarella and those other cheeses from my experience. But it's really good to just eat it with something. And I don't know if we're the only people who kind of eat snacks with cheese with snacks or something like that. With sweet snacks. Like it's already a sweet cake. And when I was a kid, like we would eat a sweet cake with a cheese, which probably some people would believe like that's kind of weird. But this, um, again, I have known for many years, and it, it does say that it was um, made in, in St. Catherine, Jamaica. So this one is Jamaican, Jamaican. And yeah, we will love cake and cake and cheese and those things. So it makes a lot of sense. And this one says it's also made in Jamaica by a honey bun. Uh, company I discovered I don't know if they used to make it recently or whatever but uh, yeah so it's in Jamaica Jamaican snack as well and the spice bun which I would have kind of be surprised if it was made in Jamaica because it's always kind of been there from as long as I can remember 
um, and it's actually made in Mandova. I'm not sure why I'm surprised it's made in Mandova. Mandova is kind of a little bit of a quiet parish in the sense that, I don't know, like you would expect Kingston or St. Andrew, St. Catherine, but the place is made in Mandova, which is interesting. So it's nice to get to read the snacks and know where they're coming from and what you're eating and who you're supporting. And yeah, so I, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna savor these ones. I'm gonna eat them. <laughs> when I see food, I get really happy, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. I just wanted to do a live video for you today. And just, to, sometimes you just have to just have snacks and not just take life too seriously. I have a lot of serious issues on my plate right now. But today I'm like, why not talk about food? And thank you so much for supporting my channel and please continue to support these companies because I'm sure they're providing jobs for Jamaicans, whether they're made in Jamaica or not. And um, yeah, we support each other. We one, one hand washes the other. We support each other as Caribbean people. We support each other. We do whatever we can to support. Support is good. I don't know. I feel like you don't really take anything out of you to support somebody else and um, support your own local um producers of snacks and items as well and thank you so much for watching i'm gonna see you in the next video bye see you next time i'm blade and i'm cutting